then uh, Forest Orb Device from Catwalk, and then immediately afterwards, uh, <coughs> Exist got the back authentication error. So I thought that the fairest thing to do would be to uh, resume the match with four players on either side. And again, I, I think it's worth mentioning uh, for, the sake, for the sake of transparency that TSM were not happy with this decision. However, they did agree to continue the match. So thank you very much to TSM for continuing in what was uh, a difficult situation all round. Just this round. Yeah, it's not 4v4 for the rest of the match. No, yeah, just wanted to make that clear. That would be interesting. <laughs> make sure everyone knows this. This is just for this round. So, all right. Already seeing. Oh, nice from Forrest. A quick pick off. Dupree down. They try to go through, and this is TSM's style. They try to do this without smokes a lot of the time because they want to find those kills themselves. They want those angels. And this time, Forrest is going to be the one delivering. He's going for more, though. Going to be peeking outside. Spots nobody. And so. They are going to know that secret's compromised. But look at this movement back up the stairs. This is really nice here from TSM. Surprise. We'll have to see if NIP's positioning to to essentially cover secret is going to be able to uh, be exploited by TSM, who just forced that rotation. And it looks like Firebird will pick off uh, Carrigan. And I believe Carrigan wasn't expecting anyone up on the rafters. Perhaps... With their movement down secret, maybe expected them to drop down low. It's hard to say, but just two left now. Cage and B and Zipnix, and they know where Freiburg is. But can they take him down? Oh, there it is. There's the trade, but Freiburg already with two pickoffs, leaving Zipnix well and truly alone against three. And there is the flick from Forrest, making a very nice two kill. And I imagine now we'll have a short pause whilst we get the. Is that, is that the pie? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is he doing to us? Oh my god. All right, let's see how long it takes before we get another back authentication error. Let's go! All right, so, now have ourselves NIP, and we have ourselves TSM. The Danes and the Swedes, and Finn. Wall of Smoke's coming up. Oh, yes, we know these. Hey, the priest got a Smurf icon. Has it? He does. Carrigan. Oh, no. Alu. No. Alu or Alu? It's Alu, right? Alu. So, well, at least Ali. I will say Ali. So here we go. We got the push outside, and this time they have smoked it off, but still, it is good angles from NIP. They're able to shoot over the top of the smoke, get those couple quick frags. Carrigan's really low as well. How on earth are they going to make this push work? They're just going just to go for it, it would seem. And actually, Ali, who kind of getting caught oh, off guard, but... Oh, that smoke has failed completely. It's not going to work out, and Gerard's going to catch Zipnik surely here as he jumps around the corner. There's the spray, and there's the round. Eight to two, and uh, TSM are looking to be in a little bit of trouble. That round looked horrendous. Horrendous, James. They they lost two men. One of them went down to like 20 HP by the time and, you know before they could even get to secret. That's the, and and the smokes were up. The wall of smokes were there. So yeah, that's that's not that's not a good way to start a round and and this is, you know, this is one of the reasons why putting the extra effort into learning that smoke that hits the outer catwalk if you're like really planning to go for that that push, makes a lot of sense because then the Orpa cannot shoot over. Um, he can't shoot over the top of the smokes because he hasn't got the angle because he himself has also smoked off. So a little bit of extra learning, but it definitely comes in handy. Okay, so we should be resuming this shortly. So hey, if if it all goes uh, bad for NIP at Katowice, get right. I'm ready. I'm waiting. I've got my orbs, and I'm ready to go. How do you say... Tell, teach me something in Swedish, quick. Um, You've got seven seconds. Uh, can they lire me? Lit? No. Can, can Just like a word, Dan. Come on. One uh, word. One li word. Like, lire is, I think, or lire, I think it is. It's like learn. Learn. Okay, I can't use that in a match of Counter Strike. So if you, if you said teach me, they actually say learn me. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be lire me instead of teach me. They don't have a word to teach. There's no teach. All right. So we've got Glocks. The odd P250 here for Terra's side. Versus the full buy of the NIP team. So that orb's going to rear its head in the ramp area. Can Forrest get the third frag? He's seen the player. Can he cross in time? He's going to try and tap him. But Forrest with a timing frag. It's going to be a clean round here on the anti-eco by NIP. CT side looking good for the time being. 
I mean, we've got Forest on the AWP. So far, he's doing a pretty awesome job with it. Um, and now the Vice is going to be offing again. So would expect him to try to take the duel outside. We know L NIP are really good at kind of retreating back into the inner area, but so far they've been playing a pretty strong game, just peeking out and getting the kills um, when they when they want to. Or in certain rounds, they put loads of focus on outside for a strong defense initially before falling back. And uh, this round here, we're going to see, oh, there's the angle found by Device, and he will get the, the uh, frag, but Forrest is actually still alive. And uh, it's just almost getting a really perfect angle on that wall bang, but not quite, just a little bit off. But uh, we'd get right down early on. It's certainly going to make the fight like cool. But Alu gets himself a kill. That's going to even things up here now. Four versus four as TSM have now created themselves an opening. But MIP. Alu does see everything. That little push of his. And uh, they've given up outside of MIP. So they don't know what's going on out there at the moment. Yeah, it seems it seems they're extremely comfortable with giving up outside. We see it reasonably often from them that they're just like, okay, you can be outside. Can't plant the bomb outside. Forty seconds remaining here for TSM to find, frag, plant, and win this round. Looks like they're setting up for potentially an A with a flank from Hell. An IP though, well positioned at the moment. This is not going to be flash. We've got counter flashes coming in to slow Zipnix down as he's going to emerge through the smoke. Carrigan gets the frag onto Exist. Uh, trade coming in from Freiburg and the cleanup comes through. Oh, Dupree goes up, he goes down. Bungie jumping with no ropes and he will fall to Alu as well. 10 2. So, very good uh, CT half so far. Are these the two strongest teams on CT Nuke right now? I, I think these are the two strongest Nuke teams personally at the moment. Um, because Fnatic don't play Nuke, Envious try to avoid it. Um, if, you know, they're, they're teams that can play Nuke, but these two are the two teams that want to pick Nuke because it's a strong, really strong map for themselves. So, yeah, I, I would actually say these are probably the two strongest Nuke teams overall. Um, CT side, definitely. T side, I'm not sure. That's a bit more of a question. But uh, Forrest, that angle there on Forrest, he does miss the shot. It won't matter, though. They've got those pistols at long range. Forrest will be untouched. And uh, Ali is going to be locking down ramp quite easily. And so far, so good for NIP. But those players are moving in for that push. Now, Forrest is going to be able to get an extra kill. And then they push into Ali. Ali is going to go down, actually. They will pick up his weapon, but they're very low themselves. And he will get taken down as well. It's just now Carrigan. He's just had a measly. Well, now he's just completely dead. So 11 to 2 now the score as uh, TSM struggled to put any more rounds on the board. And. I mean, their, their, their approach has not really been working out for them so well, that pick-based that pick -based gameplay. And I love that Alu, when they lost Get Right early in that round to Device, actually went aggressive on radio to not only get information, but get that risk to take a frag, which he did, which evened it up. So I really like that kind of that style of play where you take that risk when you're down. And see, please. All right, so all the T's outside for the time being. Uh, very normal inside. Gonna be pushing through the smoke here. Let's see if Forrest can get any of these frags. Get right with a very nice position on the corner of the smoke there. Gonna take down Cajun B with an assist from Forrest. Sees another player. He's gonna reposition himself to try and get some more damage in. Not gonna happen just yet. Maybe he's gonna push through. We've got a uh, Zipnix trying to run distraction here in the lobby area. Get right is in a vent position now. A strong position to try and defend any push. Almost shoots his head friend in the head. Device gonna take control of control. While Forrest gets the frag on the uh, flanking Zipnix on ramp. Now the NIP have got really good positions. Oh, that flame is going to force them out and actually going to help Freiburg in getting the kill there. And Forrest will take down Device. So really well held together. And that's why NIP is so strong on that CT side. Their setups for every situation is so well controlled. And the players are so good at just hitting all those defensive shots that you'd expect them to hit. Uh, you know, Forrest is obviously doing an amazing job with that AWP. He's on 10 kills at the moment. And, uh, and bearing in mind that we didn't see a bunch of rounds because we started from 6-2. So we are, we are missing frags on the scoreboard. So I'll have to see if uh, right now TSM can find themselves an edge in this round. But it, ne they, it means that they need to get a pick. If they're not going to go for a set play. They need to create an opening and then try to exploit rotations. But NIP, once they lose a man, they're so good at falling back to the center of the site. That's the dynamic of this map. Bounce here, 
sit next if he knows the angles. Could be some wall banging potential for him, but he might be looking to go for those uh, smokes for the upper site here. And uh, indeed, he's just watching over. Now he's uh, just making sure that the CTs aren't flanking, and now he can get position for the nades over the top into the upper site as Carrigan is going to place that nade in front of the hut as well. And uh, this is going to be really, really nice because it's going to allow them to run straight onto the site through the hut. Now, in they go now. The push for upper being executed. Get right over there by main. Takes an excellent frag onto Carrigan. Meanwhile, they actually went for the fake here. Put three players towards. But they didn't spot the back of the crate. And Alu comes out and just guns them all down. Oh, that's a disaster there. No one ch uh, checked the back. They assumed that he went down or repositioned. And... And it's 13 to 2. That's going to be our half score. So NIP looking really, really good. And that's great to see. But TSM will have, I think, equally an equally scary CT side. Indeed. If they get the pistol off, then uh, the comeback is entirely doable here. Such is the nature of Nuke that uh, if, t if the pistol round doesn't go well for TSM, then it looks like a complete stomp. But um, it doesn't tell the story of what could have been as... It's a, it's a very difficult situation indeed for the Danish side. So we'll see if they can manage to win the pistol. I wanted to say something about uh, something Get Right does with a smoke quite often when he's playing outside in, in the, in the uh, Mac to main area is the small box by T Red. He throws a smoke so it lands in the corner between those two boxes. And basically, it creates a wall for him. So he only needs to focus on a small gap uh, to engage the T's should they run past the. Uh, Boxes where people try and orb from, which is pretty cool. Nice little tactic there for the outside. So if multiple people are running past, um, essentially it gives it it gives him a wall on both sides. One being the main wall, uh, the main entrance wall, and one being the wall of smoke, which is a, a nifty little tactic there. So if you are just joining us again, this did resume from six two. This was a match that started on Wednesday, but had uh, lots of vac authentication errors. Even had one today. Indeed, even <laughs> continued today. Oh, yeah. Cameo appearance. Vac authentication errors. Okay, so I think we'll be jumping back into this momentarily. And I would uh, absolutely, if you're a TSM fan, don't be worried yet. I mean, be worried when they, well, okay. They, they <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> okay, be worried. Be worried, be worried. Wow, <laughs> that <laughs> sentence. I know, man. I'm all over the place, all over the shop. But we're okay. We're back <laughs> into the into the round. Here we go. Pistol. TSM, if they can pick this one up and get themselves that economy going, they can certainly be uh, be well on the way to bringing that comeback about. But first thing is first, they already have some outside presence here, and they are going to be fighting up against Get Right. It's not going to go so well. MIP taking over. The upper bomb site is under lock and key here in the hands of the Swedes and the Finn. And so the bomb does go down. It's a great nade on to get right actually from Zipnix. Not going to be enough to finish him off though. And uh, this is looking very worrisome here for TSM. And another great pick off there onto Cajun B. Forrest looking for another one. And uh, that player's completely blinded. We get even get a team kill from Forrest. Uh, but it's not going to matter. NIP with 14 rounds to the two of TSM. And now TSM, okay, now you can be worried, guys. Officially, you can now be worried for TSM because they lost the pistol. They're going to have to resort the pistol armor to bring themselves back into this. And the odds of them winning this are certainly low. But TSM, one of the best teams when it comes to the pistol game. So we shall see. Shall we not? We shall. We shall. So it all comes down to this, really. For the CTs and exists. It's going to play the range game there with the Galil and get the damage in. So early lead here for NIP in what could be the second last round. Okay, so they're just trying to take some good position for these pistols. Oh, that's a nice shot there from Device. Forrest goes down outside on top of the main roof and gives them equalize things. But for how long? Lots of pressure towards, uh, towards um, Ramp Room is certainly going to cause a lot of pain for Cajun Bees down to 30 points of health now. Device going to hear the uh, jumping and stepping towards Secret. He might be able to get a quick kill on the flank. I have to see if he's going to be able to pull that one off. As Dupree is still holding the vents in the, the hut area. And there it is. Dupree. Oh, sorry. The Device does actually get the kill. And he's going to pick up the weapon as well. It's only a scout, though. But still, that's better than nothing. 40 seconds remaining for TSM to defend here. And that is a hell of a long time, actually, to defend when you've only got pistols. 
Oh, holding an angle was Cajun B, but get right was superior with an assist from Exist. So, 25 seconds and this. Now things could get interesting. Device only with a, with a scout. Oh, he's going to get baited and fall, fall down to uh, Carrigan now. And he needs to get this frag. Bomb has gone down. So it's one versus one. He's seen get right. He may be able to pick up a rifle from somewhere. Indeed, he will. Get right is quite low. Well, there he is. He's just going to go straight for the frag. And uh, I like the, the thinking from Carrigan there. I mean, after getting that initial kill, he could have like looked around for a gun, reloaded, you know, something like that. But no, he beelined it straight to the bomb because he knew that the player had just freshly planted him, be moving to, to get in position somewhere. So he'd be vulnerable for just a small window, and he almost caught him off guard in that window. So smart thinking by Carrigan in that moment. But 15 to 2 is the reality. And it's certainly a harrowing, harrowing result here for Team Solid Mid. We do have a quick trade though, as uh, we have Device now moving in with that Deeg, trying to see what he can find on the upper site through some of these angles. But Forrest going to be picking off Dupree, and they are winning this early round battle over the damage and the kills as well. Dupree, sorry, a Device with the, the Deagle, Carrigan with the Mag, Cajun B with the Scout, and uh, now Cajun B's down as well. All on the Deagle and the Mag. Oh dear, Carrigan get taken out as well. And there you go, 16 to two. Very crushing result, but it is it is Nuke. And I honestly believe that if you know TSM had started.